I'm Des. I'm Randy. And we've been surfing we've been all day long in Malibu. Yeah, all day long in Malibu and talking about uh, the country album we did. The heavy country metal show. country album we did. We got to know each other 14 years ago <laughs> on OzFest because that was the first time we were around each other for an extended amount of time. Yeah. So it was OzFest 2004. And uh, I've done many tours since. Many tours <laughs> since. It became bros. And then he uh, started surfing. And he hit me up and it's like, we need to surf together. And, you know, uh, it took a couple of years to happen, but, you know, this is the third trip I've been out to Cali to surf. Yeah, I couldn't remember. I, I'm here on business. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> I couldn't remember if it was your third or fourth time third, out. It was third time. But Randy guessed it on the record. He's the only one on two songs. He's on Whiskey River with him and I, and he's on Ghost Riders uh, in the Sky with uh, John Carter Cash and Anna Cash and myself. It's pretty incredible. And every time I heard country tunes, I always heard them done heavy. And, and I've never heard anybody really do it. So that's what, how that came about. I'm like, how can a song like Whiskey River never be done heavy or Ghost Riders in the Sky never be done heavy? Um, and I started to reach out and uh, reached out to Randy. Mm -hmm. And he said, hey, I'm doing this outlaw country cover stuff. We're gonna do it like metal style. Do you wanna do a song? And I'm like, well, what songs are you doing? <laughs> and he sent me a list. And I'm like, has anyone done Whiskey River by Willie Nelson? He said no. And I'm like, cool, I'm in. So it came out. And then when I got out, he's like, do you want to, we were doing that. And he's like, do you want to do Ghost Riders with me and, you know, John Carter Cash, Johnny Cash's kid and his wife? I'm like, yeah. So it's, it's a no brainer. It's fantastic, man. Like meeting, we've got people very diverse on this on this record, people from metal, people from punk rock like Lee Ving, people from the country scene like John Carter Cash and his wife Anna Cash, but being to the Cash Cabin, being able to record at the Cash Cabin, uh, being able to sign the mantle at the Cash Cabin that Johnny put in himself right next to Willie Nelson and Chris Christopherson, to be able to track in a room that Johnny tracked at, or- oh, you tracked in a room I that tracked Johnny in Cash a, tracked in? I tracked in the room that Johnny tracked in. Oh. I didn't even know that. With a photo of John with John Carter on his knees and John, Johnny Cash had black boots up to about here, all in black. It was a stunning photo. You would have loved the photo. And uh, just, to go, just to go through those emotions of that and to meet those people and have them be so down to earth. But it was really interesting when we got there, John Carter Cash immediately came out and started telling us how his father, Johnny Cash, took him to go see Ozzy all dressed in black, had the photo of when he took him to see Ozzy and how he loved heavy metal. And he just started going into his love for heavy metal. And he goes, I'm getting ready to do the record with you, man. I'm gonna use my metal voice. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I'm gonna use my metal voice. I'm like, ah, oh, John, you know. No, don't do that. Yeah, like we want you to we be- Johnny Cash. Yeah, we want you to be John Carter, you know. And, but it was really interesting to see his love for heavy metal, like my love for outlaw yeah. country. It was real cool, man, real cool.